New Hampshire is a state in the New England region of the northeastern United States. It is bordered by Massachusetts to the south, Vermont to the west, Maine, and the Atlantic Ocean to the east, and the Canadian province of Quebec to the north. New Hampshire is the fifth smallest by land area, and the ninth least populous of the 50 United States. In January 1776 it became the first of the British North American colonies to establish a government independent of Great Britain's authority in it, was the first to establish its own state constitution. Six months later, it became one of the original 13 states that founded the United States of America, and in June 1788 it was the ninth state to ratify the United States Constitution, bringing that document into effect. Concord is the state capital, while Manchester is the largest city in the state. It has no general sales tax, nor is personal income taxed at either the state or local level. It is known for the New Hampshire primary, the first primary in the U.S. presidential election cycle. Its license plates carry the state motto, Live Free or Die. The state's nickname, the Granite State, refers to its extensive granite formations and quarries. Among prominent individuals from New Hampshire are founding father Nicholas Gilman, Senator Daniel Webster, Revolutionary War hero John Stark, editor Horace Greeley, founder of the Christian science religion Mary Baker Eddy, poet Robert Frost, astronaut Alan Shepard, rock musician Ronnie James Dio, author Dan Brown, actor Adam Sandler, inventor Dean Carmen, and president of the United States Franklin Pierce. With some of the largest ski mountains on the East Coast, New Hampshire's major recreational attractions include skiing, snowmobiling, and other winter sports, hiking and mountaineering, observing the fall foliage, summer cottages along many lakes and the seacoast. Motorsports at the New Hampshire Motor Speedway and Motorcycle Wick, a popular motorcycle rally held in Weirs Beach near Laconia in June. The White Mountain National Forest links the Vermont and Maine portions of the Appalachian Trail and boasts the Mount Washington Auto Road where visitors may drive to the top of 6,288-foot Mount Washington. Etymology The state was named after the southern English county of Hampshire by Captain John Mason. Geography New Hampshire is part of the New England region. It is bounded by Quebec, Canada, to the north and northwest, Maine, and the Atlantic Ocean to the east, Massachusetts to the south, and Vermont to the west. New Hampshire's major regions are the Great Northwoods, the White Mountains, the Lakes region, the Seacoast, the Merrimack Valley, the Monadnock region, and the Dartmouth Lakes on AP area. New Hampshire has the shortest ocean coastline of any U.S. coastal state, with a length of 18 miles, sometimes measured as only 13 miles. New Hampshire was home to the rock formation called the Old Man of the Mountain, a face-like profile in Franconia Notch, until the formation disintegrated in May 2003. The White Mountains range in New Hampshire spans the north-central portion of the state, with Mount Washington the tallest in the northeastern U.S. Site of the second highest wind speed ever recorded, and other mountains like Mount Madison and Mount Adams surrounding it with hurricane force winds every third day on average, over 100 recorded deaths among visitors, and conspicuous crumholtz. The climate on the upper reaches of Mount Washington has inspired the weather observatory on the peak to claim that the area has the world's worst weather. In the flatter southwest corner of New Hampshire, the landmark Mount Monadnock has given its name to a class of earth forms, a monadnock, signifying, in geomorphology, any isolated resistant peak rising from a less resistant eroded plain. Major rivers include the 110-mile Merrimack River, which bisects the lower half of the state north-south and ends up in Newburyport, Massachusetts. Its tributaries include the Contacook River, Pemigewasset River, and Winnipesaukee River. The 410-mile Connecticut River, which starts at New Hampshire's Connecticut Lakes and flows south to Connecticut, defines the western border with Vermont. 
The state border is not in the center of that river, as usually the case, but at the low water mark on the Vermont side, meaning that the entire river along the Vermont border lies within New Hampshire. Only one town, Pittsburgh, shares a land border with the state of Vermont. The northwesternmost headwaters of the Connecticut also define the Canadian border with New Hampshire. The Piscataqua River and its several tributaries form the state's only significant ocean port where they flow into the Atlantic at Portsmouth. The Salmon Falls River and the Piscataqua define the southern portion of the border with Maine. The Piscataqua River boundary was the subject of a border dispute between New Hampshire and Maine in 2001, with New Hampshire claiming dominion over several islands that include the Portsmouth Naval Shipyard. The U.S. Supreme Court dismissed the case in 2002, leaving ownership of the island with Maine. New Hampshire still claims sovereignty of the base, however, the largest of New Hampshire's lakes is Lake Winnipesaukee, which covers 71 square miles in the east-central part of New Hampshire. Umbagog Lake along the main border, approximately 12.3 square miles, is a distant second. Squam Lake is the second largest lake entirely in New Hampshire. New Hampshire has the shortest ocean coastline of any state in the United States, approximately 18 miles long. Hampton Beach is a popular local summer destination. About seven miles offshore are the Isles of Shoals, nine small islands known as the site of a 19th-century art colony founded by poet Celia Thaxter, and the alleged location of one of the buried treasures of the pirate Blackbeard. It is the state with the highest percentage of timberland area in the country. New Hampshire is in the temperate broadleaf and mixed forests biome. Much of the state, in particular the White Mountains, is covered by the conifers and northern hardwoods of the New England Acadian forests. The southeast corner of the state and parts of the Connecticut River along the Vermont border are covered by the mixed oaks of the northeastern coastal forests. The northern third of the state is locally referred to as the North Country, or North of the Notches, in reference to White Mountain passes that channel traffic. It contains less than 5% of the state's population, suffers relatively high poverty, and is steadily losing population as the logging and paper industries decline. However, the tourist industry, in particular visitors who go to northern New Hampshire to ski, snowboard, hike and mountain bike, has helped offset economic losses from mill closures. Climate New Hampshire experiences a humid continental climate, with warm, humid summers, cold, wet winters, and uniform precipitation all year. The climate of the southeastern portion is moderated by the Atlantic Ocean and averages relatively milder and wetter weather, while the northern and interior portions experience cooler temperatures and lower humidity. Winters are cold and snowy throughout the state, and especially severe in the northern and mountainous areas. Average annual snowfall ranges from 60 inches to over 100 inches across the state. Average daytime highs are in the mid-70s degree F to low 80s degree F throughout the state in July, with overnight lows in the mid-50s degree F to low 60s degree F. January temperatures range from an average high of 34 degrees Fahrenheit on the coast to overnight lows below 0 degrees Fahrenheit in the far north and at high elevations. Average annual precipitation statewide is roughly 40 inches with some variation occurring in the White Mountains due to differences in elevation and annual snowfall. New Hampshire's highest recorded temperature was 106 degrees Fahrenheit in Nashua on July 4, 1911, while the lowest recorded temperature was minus 47 degrees Fahrenheit atop Mount Washington on January 29, 1934. Mount Washington also saw an unofficial minus 50 degrees Fahrenheit reading on January 22, 1885, which, if made official, 
would tie the all-time record low for New England at Big Black River, Maine, on January 16, 2009, and Bloomfield, Vermont on December 30, 1933. Extreme snow is often associated with the nor'easter, such as the blizzard of 78 and the blizzard of 1993, when several feet accumulated across portions of the state over 24 to 48 hours. Lighter snowfalls of several inches occur frequently throughout winter, often associated with an Alberta clipper. New Hampshire, on occasion, is affected by hurricanes and tropical storms although by the time they reach the state they are often extratropical, with most storms striking the southern New England coastline and moving inland or passing by offshore in the Gulf of Maine. Most of New Hampshire averages fewer than 20 days of thunderstorms per year and an average of two tornadoes occur annually statewide. The National Arbor Day Foundation Plant Hardiness Zone map depicts zones 3, 4, 5, and 6 occurring throughout the state and indicates the transition from a relatively cooler to warmer climate as one travels southward across New Hampshire. The 1990 USDA plant hardiness zones for New Hampshire range from Zone 3B in the north to Zone 5B in the south. Metropolitan areas Metropolitan areas in the New England region are defined by the U.S. Census Bureau as New England city and town areas. The following is a list of NECTAs in New Hampshire. Berlin, Clermont, Concord, Franklin, Keene, Laconia, Lebanon, Hartford, VT, Manchester, Nashua Metropolitan Division, Portsmouth, Rochester, Dover, from the New Hampshire Economic and Labor Market Information Bureau, archived from the original on January 11, 2008, retrieved June 16, 2014. History Various Algonquin tribes inhabited the area prior to European settlement. English and French explorers visited New Hampshire in 1600 to 1605, and English fishermen settled at Odeon's Point in present-day Ryan 1623. The first permanent settlement was at Hilton's Point. By 1631, the upper plantation comprised modern-day Dover, Durham and Stratham. In 1679, it became the Royal Province. Father Rail's war was fought between the colonists and the Wabanaki Confederacy throughout New Hampshire. New Hampshire was one of the 13 colonies that rebelled against British rule during the American Revolution. By the time of the American Revolution, New Hampshire was a divided province. The economic and social life of the seacoast region revolved around sawmills, shipyards, merchants' warehouses, and established village and town centers. Wealthy merchants built substantial homes, furnished them with the finest luxuries, and invested their capital in trade and land speculation. At the other end of the social scale, they developed a permanent class of day laborers, mariners, indentured servants and even slaves. The only battle fought in New Hampshire was the raid on Fort William and Mary, December 14, 1774, in Portsmouth Harbor, which netted the rebellion sizable quantities of gunpowder, small arms and cannon, over the course of two nights. This raid was preceded by a warning to local patriots the previous day, by Paul Revere on December 13, 1774, that the fort was to be reinforced by troops sailing from Boston. According to unverified accounts, the gunpowder was later used at the Battle of Bunker Hill, transported there by Major D. Merritt who was one of several New Hampshire patriots who stored the powder in their homes until it was transported elsewhere for use in revolutionary activities. New Hampshire was a Jacksonian stronghold. The state sent Franklin Pierce to the White House in the election of 1852. Industrialization took the form of numerous textile mills, which in turn attracted large flows of immigrants from Quebec and Ireland. The northern parts of the state produced lumber, and the mountains provided tourist attractions. After 1960, the textile industry collapsed, but the economy rebounded as a center of high technology and as a service provider. Starting in 1952, 
New Hampshire gained national and international attention for its presidential primary held early in every presidential election year. It immediately became the most important testing grounds for candidates for the Republican and Democratic nominations. The media gave New Hampshire about half of all the attention paid to all states in the primary process, magnifying the state's decision power's demographics. The United States Census Bureau estimates that the population of New Hampshire was 1,330,608 on July 1, 2015, a 1.07% increase since the 2010 United States Census. The center of population of New Hampshire is located in Merrimack County, in the town of Pembroke. The center of population has moved south 12 miles since 1950, a reflection of the fact that the fastest growth in the state has been along its southern border, which is within commuting range of Boston and other Massachusetts cities. Race and Ancestry According to the 2010 U.S. Census, the racial makeup of New Hampshire was as follows. 93.9% White American, 2.2% Asian American, 1.1% Black or African American, 0.2% Native American, American Indian, 1.6% Two or more races, 1.0% Some other race. Hispanic and Latino Americans of any race made up 2.8% of the population in 2010. The largest ancestry groups in New Hampshire are, the 2013 Census Bureau estimates, 23.3% French and French-Canadian, 20.5% Irish, 16.1% English, 10.7% Italian, 8.3% German, 5.2% American, 4.7% Polish, 4.1% Scottish. 2.0% Swedish, 1.5% Portuguese, 1.5% Greek, 1.2% Scots-Irish, 1.0% Dutch. The large Irish, American and French Canadian populations are descended largely from mill workers, and many still live in the former mill towns. Like Manchester, New Hampshire has one of the highest percentages of residents of French, French-Canadian, Acadian ancestry of any U.S. state. According to the 2000 United States Census, 3.41% of the population aged 5 and older speak French at home, while 1.60% speak Spanish. In Coos County, 16% of the population speaks French at home. Religion A Pew survey showed that the religious affiliations of the people of New Hampshire was as follows. Protestant 34%, Catholic 29%, LDS 1%, Jewish 1%, Jehovah's Witness 0.5%, Muslim 0.5%, Buddhist 1%, Hindu 0.5% and non-religious at 26%. A survey suggests that people in New Hampshire and Vermont are less likely than other Americans to attend weekly services and only 54% say that they are absolutely certain there is a God, compared to 71% in the rest of the nation. New Hampshire and Vermont are also at the lowest levels among states in religious commitment. In 2012, 23% of New Hampshire residents in a Gallup poll considered themselves very religious, while 52% considered themselves non-religious. According to the Association of Religion Data Archives, the largest denominations are the Roman Catholic Church with 311,028 members, the United Church of Christ with 26,321 members, and the United Methodist Church with 18,029 members. Economy the Bureau of Economic Analysis estimates that New Hampshire's total state product in 2008 was $60 billion, ranking 40th in the United States. Median household income in 2008 was $49,467, the seventh highest in the country. Its agricultural outputs are dairy products, nursery stock, cattle, apples and eggs. 
its industrial outputs are machinery, electric equipment, rubber and plastic products and tourism. New Hampshire experienced a significant shift in its economic base during the last century. Historically, the base was composed of the traditional New England manufacturers of textiles, shoemaking, and small machining shops drawing upon low-wage labor from nearby small farms and from parts of Quebec. Today, these sectors contribute only 2% for textiles, 2% for leather goods, and 9% for machining of the state's total manufacturing dollar value. They experienced a sharp decline due to obsolete plants and the lure of cheaper wages in the South. The state's budget in FY2008 was $5.11 billion, including $1.48 billion in federal funds. The issue of taxation is controversial in New Hampshire, which has a property tax but no broad sales tax or income tax. The state does have narrower taxes on meals, lodging, vehicles, business and investment income, and tolls on state roads. According to the Energy Information Administration, New Hampshire's energy consumption and per capita energy consumption are among the lowest in the country. The Seabrook Station nuclear power plant, located near Portsmouth, is the largest nuclear reactor in New England and provides about 30% of New Hampshire's electricity. Two natural gas-fired plants and some fossil fuel-powered plants, including the coal-fired Merrimack Station plant in Bow, provide most of the rest. New Hampshire's residential electricity use is low compared with the national average in part because demand for air conditioning is low during the generally mild summer months and because few households use electricity as their primary energy source for home heating. Over half of New Hampshire households use fuel oil for winter heating. New Hampshire has potential for renewable energies like wind power, hydroelectricity, and wood fuel. The state has no general sales tax and no personal state income tax, and the legislature has exercised fiscal restraint. Efforts to diversify the state's general economy have been ongoing. New Hampshire's lack of a broad-based tax system has resulted in the state's local communities having some of the nation's highest property taxes. However, the state's overall tax burden is relatively low. In 2010 New Hampshire ranked 44th highest among states in combined average state and local tax burden. As of February 2010, the state's unemployment rate was 7.1%. By October 2010, the unemployment rate dropped to 5.4 percent. According to a 2013 study by Phoenix Marketing International, New Hampshire had the eighth highest number of millionaires per capita in the United States, with a ratio of 6.48 percent. In 2013, New Hampshire also had the nation's lowest poverty rate at just 8.7% of all residents according to the Census Bureau.